Okay, folks, I'm going to show you something. This is a quiet, it was a royal pain because I didn't read the instructions. I had him send the unit back, and the reason why, his computer connection was so slow, his internet connection was so slow, it couldn't even download the PyStar software without it partitioning, which just does not work. Now, I did have a workaround for this. I did have a fix for it. I did have a fix for this, but the gentleman was too impatient to wait for the download, which I had to do over Dropbox. So, I'm just going to demonstrate and show you folks something. How confident I am in my builds. And I'm pretty darn confident. I built over a hundred of these. Okay, here's the unit. Make sure you didn't break it, drop it, smash it. Okay. The card is in it, so I'm going to take the card out. Now, pay attention to the card. That's the problem. This gentleman corrupted the, uh, he corrupted the unit. I already know that. Okay, so I'm going to take this out. Uh, I'm going to put another card in that I just tested on another client's unit. still has all my information in it. And I'm going to put it in the little slot below, like a so. Whoops. These things are small. And I'm going to plug this little puppy in like that. See? Okay. So, and I can already see this guy's been in here fooling around with this thing. The board's all pushed over and everything else. All right. Yeah. He's been monkey. Oh. He's been monkeying with it. You see right here? I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, he's got the board off the pins. Unbelievable. Oh my God. Uh, this is just blows me away. Grown men with no patience whatsoever. Not paying attention. Uh, I took this back for correction because of the computer being so slow on the other side. I'll have this thing back up and running here in just a minute. But I'm going to show you in real time. I've gone through this two or three times already. This guy's been monkeying with this thing, I'll tell you right now. Board wasn't in. See, he had the board out. He's had that top off here. He's been monkeying with this thing. That's 100% for certain. Absolutely for certain. He's been monkeying around with it. Doesn't know what he's doing, obviously. Probably has the board on wrong, too. No, it's not okay there. Okay. Alrighty, so I fixed that. Now, I've got my phone on already. I have that SD card, which I just took out of this client's, um, this client's unit, the Rugged Spot, which is still programmed with my information for testing. And we're going to plug this thing back in. Let's see here. Where are we? Oh, there we go. <laughs> if I build these, I think I know where to plug them in, right? Too funny. Okay. Plug it in like this. Power up. Bingo. All lights doing what they're supposed to do. That green light was flashing. Beautiful. Let's turn the radio on. So you just saw it in real time, folks. Hang on. Let's hang tight. I'll show you what happens when people don't read the instructions, as I'm emphatic about. And I can see by the green light here that everything's loading fine. There's a certain rhythm these lights move in, and I know when they're moving in a rhythm that uh, is going to be indicative of a good load. And this is definitely, this unit's doing everything indicating to me it's a good load. See the red light's on here. That flashing green lights, uh, that's loading command lines right now. Now I could put this on my 5-inch HDMI monitor, but I don't need to because I can see it's, it's loading. It's loading fine. So we'll let this puppy load up. Just do what it's programmed to do. The units can't do anything other than what they're programmed to do. It's what they do. It's all they do. They have a pretty rudimentary purpose and function. And uh, this is simple stuff, folks. Real easy. Real simple. Okay, make sure my hotspot's still on here. That's the phone. It's the hotspot. Hey, look at that. I've got a fast blinking light. We are all loaded up. What do you know about that? Like I'm going to be surprised, right? Yeah, not. So, first of all, let me just go right on Brandmeister. 
I'm showing you this in real time, folks. I want you to show you real time. I get this once in a while from these impatient men. It's always men. Impatient. Um, they have no patience whatsoever. That's why they have problems with these. The problem was never the machine. It's not the software. It's a user problem. Did not read instructions. I already know for a fact that's what happened. Because that's what it is every single time. This board is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Wow, radio just came on. Somebody just keyed in. Got a key in. All right. Robert, I'll do radio check. KM6 IKH for radio check. KM6 IKH for radio check. Bingo, there I am on Brandmeister. Like I'm surprised. I'm not surprised. Come on. And there's my radio check. Coming in real good. You hear that? <laughs> User couldn't get it working. Coming in real good. Yeah, roger that, Gary. Appreciate yeah, roger that. that. Uh, Gary, appreciate that. No uh, packet loss. Everything uh, working. Uh, uh, whoops, sorry. Working good. I had the computer on here. Uh, this is Bobby in San Diego. Camp 6 IKH. And there he is. Uh, looks like he's uh, he's uh, getting in the repeater, or somebody's walking out. Like somebody's walking on top of him. But you just heard the radio. I mean, it works. There he is. Uh, come back in. I, I didn't get your call. Uh, call here is WB4 Name is Steve, and I'm in North Carolina. Over. Yeah, Stephen, uh, Bobby, K-M-6-I-K-H. Uh, you get a good copy on me? Over. Okay. Uh, the seventh station. Got a good copy on you there. And, uh, <laughs> good copy on you there. Here is Steve. This is a random hand. I'm uh, located about 40 miles uh, east of Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, now here's a little R2-D2 there. It's not, not the unit. It could be Brandmeister. Yeah, you're, yeah, your station's going good so far. There we go. Yeah, if you want to know, uh, hear yourself there with audio. Just uh, punch in uh, 9999. Nine, nine. That gives you audio. <laughs> Parrot, you exactly. More more to tell on it, but, you see, no R2-D2 in this yeah, guy. You hear yourself on it, the other guy had a probably repeater out. issue. It happens all the time. You know, the, it's uh, amateur radio. Group, uh, nine, 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 nine. Cool. Yeah, and I do use that. Yeah, Roger that. Uh, KC7PJI. I appreciate that, Tracy. Thank you very much. Yeah, you get a good solid signal on your side as well. Uh, 73 guys, I got a roll. I appreciate it very, very much. Have a good day. Three minutes. I'll turn the radio off now. You get the point. Three minutes after coming out of the box with a good image that wasn't corrupted. The buyer corrupted that image, and I knew the buyer corrupted the image. Buyer was extremely hot-tempered, very impatient, which is the reason why he couldn't use this simple, simple device. It was all pre-programmed with his information. If he gave me the wrong information, I can't control that, but I'm there for customer support to help. Um, wouldn't allow me to help, so uh, we're probably, actually, um, I, you know what I'm going to do? i tell you what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to give this guy his money back. Uh, he's really not the kind of client I want. I hate to say that. I don't mean to be cruel, but, uh, you know, he wouldn't allow me to help him. Made a big, huge fuss. Went up in an uproar for absolutely nothing. And as you can see, unit works perfect. Yeah, I'm going to give him his money back. I've got, like, seven or eight people that want these units. I'm going to take this apart, go through it, make sure nothing was... Uh, tinkered with, which it looked like it's nice and clean, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll give some a little bit of a discount on this one. So cool. Okay, well, you saw it. <laughs> Had it back up and running in three minutes after a whole lot of drama for nothing. So, case in point made. Bye, guys.